the Panda Hobby Tetra K1. Is this thing worth a hundred dollars? <laughs> Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have got the Panda Hobby Tetra K1. Very nice little truck. It's uh, it's right on the the borderline of my uh, my budget. That's because this, this channel is actually dedicated to budget trail trucks and this thing retails at about a hundred dollars but you do get a lot for a hundred dollars we have oil shocks in there which is a really nice little touch the uh, the wheels are weighted foamed and glued ready out the box got a nice high turn 180 motor in there if you can see that we've got waterproof electronics in there focus is all over the place waterproof electronics in there comes with a 7.4 volt lithium-ion battery 500 milliamp we've got a axle mounted servo if you can see that move in there with the axle really nice little truck so anyway enough talking let's hit the trail and see how this little thing does As always guys, if you're uh, new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We've got new content coming to the channel every Wednesdays and Sundays. So already this truck feels really nice, smooth and controlled. Like I said, I currently got the throttle rates on medium. You know, a lot of fun actually indoors of this, doing some cushion crawling. Uh, it's a little 180 scale so it really looks nice uh, alongside the WPL B series of a similar size <laughs> chucking it in the deep end to start get those wheels wet Let's see how it does on the first incline pretty steep incline really wet and slippery today Really nice aspect of control. Pick your line very carefully with these little trucks, bit of wheel speed. I think the little K1 is up. One of the main reasons for bringing this out for a test, I've actually got a SG1802 coming to the channel, which is also a 118th uh, little trail truck, similar to this, but it's less than half the price, so thought it'd be good to bring this out and then when I finally bring the, the SG out it'll make uh, for a good comparison but so far this thing feels really nice and smooth looks at home on the trail to be fair down onto the rocky riverbed we've had lots of rainfall lately lots of downpour so we've got lots of water as well today handled the rocky riverbed with ease now we've got an extremely steep incline which is very very slippery very wet so again, I'm going to have to pick my line very carefully. Really nice steering angle on this truck. So we've got metal uh, CVD joints in there. It's pretty much a mini hobby grade truck to be fair. That branch there is causing me some uh, Causing me some grief here. 
I have faith this will get up there. Let's try a different line here. Bogged out. Let me get this twig out the way. That's what was causing me. Some issues there. Try again. Come on, little panda. There we go. Come on. His tires are caked up already. Turn down as much grip as they can. Nevertheless, the little panda gets up. <laughs> Very impressed. Small track, big performance. Definitely see why this is a little bit more pricey than what I normally run with WPLs and MNs. Handles very well. These sheep footprints are like massive divots to this little truck. <laughs> really like any addition of these oil shocks. Actually, like how quiet this truck is as well on the trail. And the bog. So you've got to pick your route very carefully with these little trucks. You can't just my stuck on. Picked up a big moss ball. <laughs> so you can't just uh, point it in a line and press go and it'll take it on. You've actually got to plan your route very carefully with these little trucks. Which isn't a bad thing. Adds to the fun in my opinion. Okay, so we're at the top. Let's bring it back round down this steep decline here. See what the trail break is like. It's quite a light truck, so a 180 motor will probably hang on to this, no problem. Yeah, very easy. Get this last bit of an incline here. Round to the tree line. Very impressed so far with this little panda. This uh, slippery boss is uh, causing a bit of issues today with traction. Really nice and slow and controlled on the descent here. Very impressed with the way this little thing handles. There's oil shocks, just filling in all the gaps. 
Nice, no rebound. This, court, that, this part of the course is I seem to have filled in with mud. It's normally a bit deeper there. Plenty of turning angle to make it around this bit in one. Awesome, and up the other side. You know the score. If you're a channel regular, we like to finish on this tree line. Really nice flex there going through there. Those are oil shocks. Really add to the performance this little rig, fair play. That combined with the, the amazing uh, control you can get. My only downside I'm seeing at the moment is it's just a little bit, a little bit too light on the trail. So whereas with my, my bigger trucks, we'd be pouring down some traction with that weight. This little uh, lightweight fella. Even with weighted wheels, but nevertheless, take your time, pick your line carefully, and the little panda succeeds. Super controlled. <laughs> so there you have it guys, the panda hobby. Tetra K1, really nice little uh, power wagon, awesome little trail truck. Like I did say, it is pretty much on the the top end of the, the budget scale. You're looking at about $100 for this little truck, but for the money, you are you are getting lots of uh, lots of performance parts. Like I said, we got weighted foam glued wheels there. <clears throat> we got metal drive lines in there with CVD joints with ample steering waterproof electronics really nice little truck so yeah, yeah just a quick one from me today guys thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you on the next one